Hi all, today we are going to discuss about thermocouple instruments. So they are very accurate for measurement of currents up to 20 amperes and voltage up to 500 volts well up to the frequency of about 50 megahertz to even up to even 100 megahertz frequencies also. That means these type of instruments are completely independent of type of the waveform and they are very high accurate when compared to other type of instrument particularly for high frequencies that is the advantage of them. The basic working principle is based on the Seebuck effect. The C Seebuck effect is that Seebuck is a name of the scientist what he has taken. He has just kept the different materials in the serial order. We are going to see the list of those materials. What he has done, he has taken two materials in such a way they are connected together in the both sides. Let us assume I am taking the example copper and constant and two materials are there. He has connected together in one side. So this he has taken as the hot junction. That means this junction is maintained at a higher temperature when compared to the second side. So second side when these two materials are connected here I can connect some PMMC type of ammeter. Let us assume I have connected some ammeter here. Ammeter means it is nothing but the short circuit. So when the temperature at this junction is more than the temperature of the second junction which is called as a reference junction or the cold junction, he observed that the current will start automatically start flowing through this junction. And he observed that the current passes from a material which he has prepared in the serial order we are going to see that list and the current will pass in the hot junction from a material which is in the first or in the initial order to the material which is in the latter, latter position. The material which is in the initial position to the material at the constant position. Like uh, for example in this case we can tell that the current will pass from constant into copper at this hot junction and then from the copper it will pass through this instrument and return back to the constant. And he also observed that if you are disconnecting the terminals in the cold junction terminal some voltage of about 50 millivolts is induced here when a temperature difference of 100 degree centigrade when a temperature difference of 100 degree centigrade between the hot and the cold junction is maintained then he observed that under open circuit condition that means when this instrument is removed here he observed that the emf induced is about 5 millivolts only very small value so in order to get the higher accuracy or better sensitivity because emf induced is very less for a temperature of almost 100 degrees centigrade which is very huge so that's why in order to detect that properly we have to go for an instrument which has high precision which has high precision and more sensitivity that means it consumes the minimum power it can sense the small small things also at the same time it is highly accurate so one such instrument is pmmc instrument so that's why we go for the pmmc instrument here so now coming to the working how it will work let us see after that i will go for the materials and then the final construction so when the current is passed through some heating element current to be measured is passed through some heating element because the current is passing through a heater what happens because of the current i square r loss will be there in this due to i square r loss the heat is produced because of this the temperature increases at this junction so because this temperature is directly exposed to this thermocouple that means this hot junction of the thermocouple temperature is increased when compared to the reference junction or the cold junction because of that the emf is induced in this uh, thermocouple and the current will start circulating in this thermocouple which is measured by using the PMMC instrument. So let us proceed further just summarizing the things what we have studied. What is the Seebuck effect? When two wires of different materials are joined together to form two junctions and are maintained at different temperatures, a current flows around the circuit from hot junction of the former material to the latter material. So this Seebuck has arranged total 25 metals in the order of their thermoelectric properties. So this is the order B, I, N, I, C, O, P, D, P, T. Like this, this is the order of the material. You can select any two materials out of this, but most commonly used materials are the one that is discussed here. The most commonly used materials are these things, copper and constant and iron and constant. Let us take for example iron and constant. So iron and constant you can see this is the constant and CO that is here. Then iron, iron is Fe right. So Fe is here. So that's why it will pass from constant to iron because the constant is at a higher level when compared to the iron. Okay. So in that way it will pass. Okay. I, I I hope this is understood to you. So commonly used junction are copper constant and or iron constant and type of materials. Now come, coming to the constructional details because the temperature that is produced because of this the I square R loss 
the heat that is produced that should be transferred as maximum as possible to the thermocouple so in order to do that what we will do generally we keep this entire thing is enclosed in evacuated glass envelope evacuated glass envelope and so that the entire heat that is produced maximum energy will be transmitted to this thermocouple so that maxo emf is induced and there will be a cold junction that is kept here and one pmmc instrument will be connected so again same thing this we already discussed i am repeating current to be measured is passed through the heater because of this the temperature increases as the temperature of the hot junction is more than the cold junction then the emf is induced in the thermocouple which passes through the pmmc instrument so here current passing through the instrument that is current in the meter im is proportional to the temperature difference the temperature difference is in turn depending on the the heat that is produced that is i square or loss it is proportional to current square as it is taking the square of the rms value so that's why it is independent of type of the waveform so now coming to the construction of different materials first starting from one by one as your current is passing through the heating element so this heating element should be made up of non magnetic high resistance material of small cross sectional area generally cross sectional area is limited to 0.025 mm the reason for going for the small cross sectional area is to minimize the effect of the skin effect because we know as the frequency is increasing the skin effect is inversely proportional to square root of the frequency that means higher the value of the frequency lesser will be the skin depth because of that the skin effect is severe that means current passes through only small part of the total area because of this the resistance increases drastically in order to avoid the effect of the skin effect so what we have to do if you want to know details about the skin effect you can refer to my emft playlist i have explained this skin effect concept completely detail there so in order to minimize this that's why this is limited so because of only this effect of the skin effect that's why the higher upper frequency for which the instrument can be used is limited to about 50 megahertz if you can design this instrument with thin thin wires of multiple wires in parallel or such an arrangement then you can go for even the higher frequencies also then the voltage induced in the, across the open circuit terminals of the thermocouple it is observed that about 5 millivolts is induced for about 100 degree centigrade difference in the temperature between hot and the cold junctions so for 100 degrees you can see only small voltage is induced 5 millivolts because of this the current passing in pmmc instrument will be very less or current passing through the instrument will be less so that's why we have to take the instrument which is having the high sensitivity and high accuracy so that's why we go for the pmmc instrument and you have to remember that the emf that is induced is dc so that's why we can go for the pmmc instruments so let us see the advantages they can be used for measurement of current and voltages up to 50 megahertz and i have already told this upper limit is only limited due to the skin effect of the heating element and they are not affected the stray magnetic fields so there is no magnetic effect involved in converting that the input current into the equivalent current passing through pmmc instrument in that entire process conversion process or in seebeck effect there is no effect of the magnetic field so that's why it is independent of that they are very useful as a transfer instruments for calibration of the instruments because the reason is they are free from the error due to both frequency and the waveform and they are highly accurate and sensitive instruments so that's why they can be used for the transfer instruments also but there are some disadvantages of these instruments due to which they are not used in practice first one is there is a considerable power loss due to poor efficiency of thermal conversion first what we are doing we are passing the current i through the resistance that produces some temperature because of this temperature thermocouple induces the voltage thereby the current is passing so multiple conversions are there so automatically the conversion efficiency is very poor so that's why it consume high power that means high loading effect on your original circuit and second disadvantage is that heating element is designed because i told you it should be made up of as thin as possible so if you are making it very thin the overload capacity will be limited when you are passing more current than its capacity that heating element will burn so overloading capacity is also limited so these are the disadvantages of this instrument that is the reason they are not most commonly used in practice generally these type of instruments are mainly used in practice for true rms type of instruments so wherever you want to measure the true rms type of instrument or true rms type of multimeters so there we go for these type of instruments i hope that the thermocouple instruments are completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much